Hi everyone, I'm back with a video. Um, I'm just recording some consecutive videos for you guys. This video is going to be in a different um, category. It's going to be about my ancestry, um, genealogy type of stuff that I like to do. Um, I just filmed a video of my first impression of the Ancestry DNA kit. And I did mine basically after I sent it off. And that was another video. So go watch those two videos if you have not watched it. Um, it's very um, interesting if you guys want to learn more about the Ancestry DNA kit. Um, the special has already ended. Um, it was only for a certain amount of time that you could do the 14 annual a month and get a free DNA kit if you do the you know membership for the $14 a month. Um, the DNA kit now is right now at $100 um, I believe and it's kind of like off special. Um, there was a lot of specials that you guys um, could catch though, like the 4th of July, where um, the Father's Day, the Mother's Day, where it's only like between 60 and between 60, 70 bucks, which saves a lot of moolah. So, anyways, I wanted to do a video basically to help beginners. Because I'm a beginner myself and I wanted to reach out to anyone who wants to start researching their family history because it is very interesting. Now, let's see. I would say learning about your family history can be very exciting. It's not something that's boring. Sometimes it can be boring to other people, but I think you really have to be interested in learning new things every day and you have to be interested in researching. If you do not like researching and doing all that extra work then uh, that's not going to really work for you because that's what you have to do. You have to dig for information sometimes. It's not going to be right there. Um, it, it's not easy, um, needless to say. So anyways, um, I wanted to make this video also to talk about different sites um, such as besides ancestry.com there's another website called familysearch.org and this site has one thing that I say that's a little bit different than ancestry.com in my opinion is it offers a little bit of more variety with as far as doing outside like research on paper so it has research forms for you to download or print so it has pretty much like all of the census years forms. It's like a blank census um, page and it has, it looks just like the regular census, but you can write in your own handwriting. So it's legible. You can keep it in your own little records. Um, you can keep it in your genealogical folder and keep that in your records at all times. Um, so that's what I had printed out the other day and it's really cool to print stuff out like that because it makes everything look clean, um, neater, definitely, instead of reading other person another person's handwriting. So it, they do offer like forms like that. They offer a pedigree form, which basically you can start with yourself, and then it branches off to, to the parents, the grandparents, the great-grandparents, and so on. And it's so, like, it's so much neat. It's really, it's just really cool. So... They offer a variety of forms like that. They offer research logs. They offer blank analysis forms for your ancestor to jack down information on. It's just so much easier. And I'm going to show you a few of the forms that I already have with me. So one second and I'm going to get those for you. Okay, so um, I have a few things printed off. Um, besides other stuff, I would say that if you don't really know where your ancestor was in between some certain time periods, it comes in handy to print out a map. So what I did was I printed off this map here. And it has all of the, basically the places where my ancestor was. And I put pinpoints and I drag it down and I put the year that they were in. So, for instance... My great-great-great-grandfather, he was born in uh, Louisiana, and he was born in 1865. And I also have where he lived as a little boy, which was Bienville, 
1870 um, in Louisiana, and then he moved to Texas, um, and I have that as well. So that's why I create a map to kind of track where my ancestors have been and to kind of figure out other areas that they possibly could have, could have moved to. So this is a military records checklist. Um, as you guys begin to... This lighting sucks in here. Sorry about that. Okay. So, anyways, what I was trying to say is the military records checklist, if you guys begin to search your history, you'll begin to realize that there are, there will be some people, you may not have a lot of people in the military, but more than likely, you probably will. Um, because in the time period, as you go back, a lot of, a lot of people went into the military. It was just kind of like the normal thing to do. So, or, you know, they may have not had an option. So, I created or printed off a military records checklist. It has the ancestor name. Um, I just put my ancestor's name. You can also put the, their date, the born, their birth year, and um, when they passed away. And then, over here, are basically all of the wars. So, they have colonial wars, uh, American Revolution... 1784 to 1811, War of 1812, Indian Wars, Patriot War, Mexican War, Civil War, Service 1866 forward, Spanish-American War 1898 to 1899, Philippine Insurrection, World War One and World War Two. So it just gives you all of the wars um, and most of my ancestors were in World War One and World War Two. I only have one ancestor that was in the Civil War, and I only have one ancestor that was in War of 1812. So it's kind of pretty, it's interesting to find out the trend and the, what wars your ancestors were mainly. And as you can see, my ancestors were mainly in World War One. believe it or not. Yeah, World War One. My great-grandfather, he was in World War Two. And um, his brother was as well. So it's kind of interesting to find that out. And then here is a research log. And this is all from the FamilyTree.org website. And I'll put the link down below for you guys. But this is how it looks. And you put the date. You put um, the description of the source. And then you put the comments on what you found. And you put the document number. There's a to-do list. Because say you want to research someone in specific, you can do that. Um, and then I also printed off a a group, a family group record. And a family group record is similar to a census. The only difference is it does not have occupation and it does not have um, it doesn't have it's not as detailed as a census is. So a family group record, you can put the husband, the wife, and then the children that are in the household. And then you can put if they were baptized Christian, when they died, um, their maiden name, and um, such as that. So that's all of the information I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this is a little clipboard I have. Um, I'm going to get another one because this one is kind of, I don't know, it's not holding up as I want it to. So that's about it. I am trying to make this video as short as possible for you guys. But um, genealogy and research is a very long process and very detailed. Um, if you want to start researching your um, family history, what I suggest is getting a mini notebook um, such as These are some different sizes, so you well about the same size. So you can get like these type of notebooks when you first start off. Which this is my notebook that I used when I first started off, and it's a mini notebook. And I just started writing, and before I knew it, guys, this notebook was literally all filled up with information. So I'm done with this, and now I have now I have this one, and this one is a little bit bigger and is a brand spanking new one that I have not opened up 
and this has all my family information so like it just has notes that I write down and when you guys begin searching you will begin to find out that you will need a notebook real quick because you want to keep track with the information because it can get confusing if you're unorganized and don't write this stuff down so that's that um, if you have any other questions or any type of videos you want me to do such as what, um, what the records can tell you and what they are okay <coughs> okay sorry about that I was trying to hold that sneeze back <laughs> okay so that's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.